I think a lot of founders are afraid to give their board members work. My advice is always, well, just get them involved. Uh, give them something to do. Uh, I think if the board members don't want to do the work, you've got a different problem. My name's Henry. I'm the founder and CEO of Carta. You know, when I was learning to be a founder and CEO, there's no manual on how to do it. You only learn by doing and learning from others who have done it. So the best advice I always got was from other founder CEOs that had done the same thing for me. And so my hope is to share some of the things I learned for the next generation of founder and CEOs and see if I can be helpful. Uh, whenever I talk to founders on, hey, how do I deal with the board? The board's always on my back, I wants more information. They're always asking me questions. My advice is always, well, just get them involved. Uh, give them something to do. I think a lot of founders are afraid to give their board members work, but I, I think that's actually a really positive thing. Uh, I think if the board members don't want to do the work, you've got a different problem. What we did for a long time, we called it an adopt a BU program or adopt a business unit program. And every board member adopted a business unit. And so you know, one board member worked on our cap table business. Another board member worked with our finance team. They would just get updates and and give perspective and, and help. And it was great. It made the board meetings much more collaborative because it wasn't just about me updating the board and talking about what was happening. If there was a question about what was going on in the cap table business, me and the board member that had adopted the cap table business could talk about the cap table business and they could give their perspective and the advice they were giving the team helped me manage this sprawling, growing company, but also helped with the board keeping the board up to date because everybody was involved in touching the business in different areas. So managing a board is hard. It's one of the most important relationships as a founder CEO that you can manage. The golden rule of board management is you should never surprise the board. The board should never be surprised. If there's anything that's going to come up that's controversial or a surprise or or you're not sure what the reaction will be like, you should call each board member individually and tell them this news before you announce it to the whole board. And that can be incredibly time consuming. You know, if you have an eight person board, you're calling eight people and having exactly the same discussion. Your relationship with the board is the sum of your individual relationships. You don't have a relationship just with the board. You have relationship with the board members individually. They will very much appreciate your call ahead of time. They all will feel special that you called them directly to tell them.